Hi everybody, today I'm showing you how to make play dough. Um, what you're going to need is um, one tablespoon or half a tablespoon of cream of tartar, half a cup of salt, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, and a cup of flour, and some good coloring, and um, one cup of water. So, first, what you're going to do, what you're going to do, this is, um, this is cooked. You get your pan pot thing. You're gonna do all the dry ingredients first. That way they can mix together. Then, so then, you're gonna mix it. Then you're gonna get your water. Um, you're gonna put food coloring in there. You're gonna make the food coloring the way you want it, like how you like your food coloring, like what color you want it to be. So put whatever colors that you want. I'm just gonna put green and yellow. Get a spoon. I'm gonna mix it together until I end up getting the color that I like. Kind of like a green, like a hot green. Um, then you can put in your vegetable oil with it, and then your food coloring, of course. And then I'm gonna give it a mix before you put it on the stove. you get it with that. Then you're going to bring it over to the stove. Sorry. Like this. Bring it over to the stove. You're going to put it on like low heat. You're going to mix it on low heat. Remember, low heat you mix. Then, so you see like how it's like turning into like a dough form sort of. I'm just gonna keep on mixing it. Sorry, until it comes together. It takes a lot of time. You're not gonna leave it alone. You have to keep on mixing it for it to become perfect. So just keep on mixing it there. The reason I put my all my colors in there is because if you do it after, it doesn't really turn out that good. The colors don't come in well. And it's very really horrible. So you see how it's starting to form a dough? It might look a little like watery right now, but it will start to form a dough. And when that happens, you will see. So it takes a time now. But I do like this color. It's really pretty. And just keep on mixing it. Okay. 
and don't add more flour if you think because it's too sticky it does start to form a ball don't put more flour because it will ruin it because usually you think it's sticky you end up putting like flour more in but you're not going to do that just gonna keep on mixing it see how this is turning today so just gonna keep it you might want to put it on high heat medium heat actually mix it together <coughs> You can do like whatever color you want. Let's cut this off with these ingredients. Like this play doh. Sorry, it takes like a long time to do this. And I have the whip cam. I don't have like a camera to do this. I can stop it. like about time you can kind of get your fingers in there and mix it together if you want you can keep on putting it on here if you want to go I'm going to keep on putting it on here because I don't it's sort of sticky and I don't want to put my hands Okay, so, see, it's starting up on my dough. The colors, you have to mix the color. It's really good because it's starting, the colors going to start squirting out at you. Just put a couple of drops in your water. So, then, I'm just going to take it real quick and just, like, mess around with it. I'm going to put it back on the stove. But I need to, like... Play with it a little bit so then it can get the ingredients together and then I'm gonna put it back on here. Like that. See? It's sort of watery stuff like that. But it's gonna come together, I promise you. It will come together. And that's a, it's not it doesn't take too much flour because some of the play doh recipes it takes you like five or Cut five cups just to make play-doh and I just like I'm just like whoa there you don't want to use too much flour you don't want to use all the flour that you have in your house so use a little bit and it's way better this color is really cool it's really pretty Sorry, my, my this thing is like that I'm using the wooden spoon is kind of like breaking off. That's how hard it gets. Like, sort of getting there. It's sort of hot. Your time. It's time to take it out. Okay. I'm gonna put it with it. You might want to cool it off first. But you can play with it. Mix it together just to get those ingredients in. This We don't add it. I have to add so much flour. Only a little bit of flour is using this process, and dough is getting nice. 
really nice. Okay. Sorry, the video is so long. But you do the right you know things. So just keep Doing that and messing around with it. I'm gonna take a roller. You can just get a roller, just roll it out, just to get those ingredients in, just to work them in, get the color in. Like this. And if you notice, it's actually like dough. Another good trick that I learned, if you just like, like, roll with it, you know, just together, really easily. Like this, just put it together. Okay, so, you're going to keep playing with this. Play with it, the reason why the... Why I'm playing with it so long to show you is because I want you to sh see, like, that your Play-Doh will not run out, like, some bees that you get. The Play-Doh doesn't even turn into, like, a bowl, but this recipe is really good. See how I can, like, do that? And everybody, like, like kidding. Well, have fun. Play with it, play with it. And it's green. See? Okay. Um, mix it. Mix the play doh. Play with the play doh. Play with the play doh. So you see, you can form stuff with it, and you see, have you noticed, the coloring does not get on your hands, the play doesn't get all sticky to your hand, it's just like Play-Doh, see? I will also be having the, in, um, the directions of how to make it down at the bar, really easy. The cream of tartar makes it really, really nice and last really long. And what I like about it, it's like dough. And I play with it myself in my other videos. So you can, what you can do is you can roll it into a bowl. Okay, just roll it into a bowl. Like this, then you can get like a Ziploc bag. I was just trying to look for some, I guess, they're all out. But there's your Play Doh. Really nice and easy, and look at it. You can see that it's actually like Play Doh, and it's really fun to make. You can have a blast with it. See, an entire bowl of Play Doh. And you don't need a big ol' thing of it. You can just have this much Play Doh, and it's really cool. So, um, please vote thumbs up on my videos, especially this one. Please like, comment about what you think about it, and if it worked for you, try it out. Easy, simple, and easy. It comes with a lot. You can make whatever color you want. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Ah.